How good can a total novice get at pitching in only 100 hours of practice? I am 30 years old, and I've never pitched a baseball. My dad didn't play catch with me, I didn't play Little League, and I certainly didn't play in school. I'm a complete noob. I'm 6 foot, 175 pounds, and reasonably athletic for a full-time programmer. I do have a lingering shoulder injury from jujitsu and a bad knee, which has had two surgeries already. Despite all that, I wanted to see how much I could improve. Newbie gains are fun, and I always wanted to get better at throwing. So I read the book, The Complete Guide to Pitching, and since I'm insane, I decided to learn both hands, despite naturally being a right-hander. Here's my homemade pitcher's mound and strike zone. The Little League pitch distance is 46 feet, and the MLB distance is 60 feet 6 inches. We'll start out at the Little League distance for now. The strike zone is divided into nine sections. I always aimed every pitch at the number five, the dead center. This way, I can measure distance off from the target easier. First, some baseline measurements. I attempted 10 fastballs with my right arm and got zero strikes, three near balls, five balls, and two wild pitches. My speed averaged 36.6 .6 miles per hour. My fastest pitch was 40 miles per hour. And with my left arm, I got zero strikes, one near ball, three balls, and six wild pitches. My speed averaged 30.4 miles per hour, and my fastest pitch was 33 miles per hour. So, as you can see, I play ball like a girl! The goal here is to see how much I improve in 100 hours of practice, but what counts as practice? I'm counting the time I spend setting up, warming up, doing dynamic stretching, doing resistance band work, throwing practice, and actual pitching practice. On top of the pitching practice, I'm also doing weightlifting and stretching, but since I would do that work anyway, like everyone should, come on people, you gotta work out, I'm not counting it as practice towards my 100 hours. Initially, the plan was to do this six days a week, but that did not happen. Because of injuries and laziness and rain and life events, the actual schedule looked like this. The part I regret the most is the big gap near the end, which definitely slowed down my progress. So, how did this whole experiment go? Well, pitching is hard. You see a major leaguer pitching and you think, wow, that seems hard. But then you try it and you realize, Wow! Pitching is hard! I spent 102 hours and 32 minutes practicing. I didn't film every single thing I did, but I mostly did this. And a lot of this. And some actual pitching. All right, after 100 hours of practice, right arm test, 10 pitches, my lovely friend over here, uh, George, is going to be using the speed gun manually and he'll shout out the results. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Fifty-two. Fifty-four. Fifty-three. Fifty. Fifty-four. 45. So you're, okay. You're <laughs> now time for my left hand, which I'm even worse at somehow. So, again, I've already done a few warm-up pitches and throws and stuff to warm up. George will be holding the speed gun again, shouting it out. I think we have the technique down, and uh, I'm going to do 10 pitches, unless I get frustrated and do more.
45 42 42 for fastballs, two things matter. Number one, how fast, and number two, how accurate. Fortunately, thanks to this device, measuring my speed is pretty simple. Here's the chart of pitch speed for every pitch I measured. With my right hand, I threw 299 measured pitches and did 7,650 throws or throwing drills. My best speed was 54 miles an hour and my average speed was 42.2 miles an hour. On an average per session basis, the chart looks like this, which shows a pretty solid uptrend. And if we just take a chart of the fastest pitch per session, it looks like this. With my left hand, I threw 307 measured pitches and did 7,701 throws or throwing drills. My best pitch speed was 48 miles an hour, and my overall average was 34.3 miles per hour. The per session chart looks like this, and the fastest pitch per session chart looks like this. So that was my speed. Overall I improved. From the first session to the last session, for my right hand, my average increased 12.02 miles per hour, and my fastest pitch increased 14 miles per hour. For my left hand, the results were similar. From the first session to the last session, my average increased 11.56 miles per hour, and my fastest increased 15 miles per hour. As for accuracy, measuring it is a little harder than speed. I invented a system of measurement called balls, where one ball means the pitch missed the target by one ball width. Since I was always aiming for the number 5 spot on my pitches, when I actually hit the number 5, I score 0 balls. When I hit the 4 or the 6, I score 1 ball. When I hit the 2 or the 8, I score 2 balls, since horizontal is closer than vertical. And when I hit one of the corners, I score 3 balls. When I hit a near ball, I'm calling that a 5 ball score. And when I hit the net, on average, I'm calling it a 10 ball score. And when I miss the net entirely, it's an 18 ball score. Since a higher score here is bad, like in golf, we should hopefully see my average session score decrease over time. Here's the per session chart for my right hand. As you can see, I was initially averaging around 11 ball score error rate. I was briefly able to bring it down quite low, but my irregular practice ruined that, and my control was never consistent. For my left hand, the chart is a little more promising. As you can see, I started even higher than my right hand, a truly atrocious 15 ball score. But, at least with my left hand, there was a clear downtrend, even if it was not always consistent. I attribute the difference between my left and right accuracy to the fact that I was essentially learning from scratch how to throw with my left, so it was easier to improve than with my right hand, which I naturally throw with. Overall, I don't think anyone would consider this some sort of impressive success, considering that many little leaguers are better pitchers than me. There, we go. there are a lot of things I could have done better, and consistent practice schedule was the main one. Getting some actual pitching coaching from someone in real life would have been an obvious second thing to do. However, I am generally satisfied with my improvement, if not my final skill. It's especially cool to know that I'm not completely useless with my left hand, which is kind of a neat trick. Thanks for watching.